So PRP, platelet-rich plasma. It's a hair loss procedure that's becoming very popular. A lot of hair transplant clinics are offering it. In fact, most of the hair transplant clinics I've come across offer this service now. But I've had a few messages from people asking if they should have this service, if it's offered to them. So basically in this video, I'm gonna tell you what platelet-rich plasma is, the benefits it has for hair loss and hair transplants, the scientific evidence, We'll also look at some before and after pictures. I'm going to explain how it's used and I'm going to tell you whether you should go for it or not. Let's go. So let's define what PRP or platelet-rich plasma is. It's basically the, the idea is to inject your own processed blood into your scalp. And the way we process the blood, we want it to be blood rich in platelets. So I'll show you how the process is done now, but this is the whole idea. And the injection can happen, not just the scalp, but it can happen to other parts of the body as well. But for this video, obviously we're interested in hair transplants. So this is what we'll be focusing on. Now let's have a look at how the process works. So the first step is for your blood to be drawn, uh, just like sh uh, the video is shown here, uh, with a normal syringe, it takes a few seconds. And the blood is placed in a machine um, uh, like this called a centrifuge. It basically rotates the blood at very high speed for a while. And then after a certain time, the blood separates the, into different layers. As you can see, there's kind of a pinkish layer and a yellowish layer and a red layer. And one of those layers is the one that is rich in platelets that we need. Once the machine is done, we get a syringe and draw out um, the platelet rich plasma that we want and it's ready for use. Let's talk about how we use platelet-rich plasma PRP system. A lot of people mistakenly believe that this is only for hair transplants or for hair growth. It's not, it can, PRP can be used to improve the healing in any part of the body, yeah? Not just the scalp, not just hair. But evidence, uh, some people believe that it can regrow hair and it slows down hair loss. And I've also seen it used as a recovery aid for people who've had hair transplants. So after people have had hair transplants, a lot of clinics offer them this service, PRP, and they tell them that this will speed up your healing and uh, aid your recovery. So now let's look at the scientific evidence for PRP. Is it 100% proven? To be honest, no, it's not 100% proven, but that's because it actually hasn't been tested that much. And I always say that just because something hasn't been tested thoroughly doesn't mean it doesn't work because if you had tested it, then you might discover that it does work, okay? But the technique of PRP has been in use since the 1980s to improve healing. So it's been, you know, it's been in use for over 30 years, coming up to 40 years. The historic use is reassuring. By this, I mean that if something has been in use since the 1980s, kind of coming up to 40 years, then generally it's likely to be quite safe because if there was any horror stories then we would have hopefully you know we would have found out by now but whether it's effective that's still uh, debatable so healthline have um, a result one result published uh, that they've included in their article and it's this one here so this is a person who's had uh, seven months this is seven months after they've started uh, prp treatment and as you can see on the left this is before the be the before picture um, kind of like this, you know, diffused thinning. Um, is it male or female? I'm not really sure. I think this is most likely a male. And as you can see on the left, uh, diffused thinning and after seven months and three treatments with PRP, um, it's got some decent results. There's still a little bit thinning to um, cover, but it's a really good start, you know, seven months. This is not bad. I found another website by, um, I think a doctor called Jeffrey Rappaport called PRP Hair MD that has some results uh, published. So let's have a look at them. So this is a female with 10 treatments of PRP. This is before and uh, she's got good improvements um, afterwards. Uh, not bad. And this is another female with seven treatments of PRP, but she's also using some other products. Um, again, decent results. Um, I'm just trying to get to some males. This, this is another female with 10 treatments and minoxidil as well. So this is decent, decent improvement. I wouldn't say it's is a you know spectacular result, but it's decent improvement. I'm just gonna keep flicking till I get to some male results because that's the one we want to um, see to compare to the results from the females. Here we go, we've got a male. And this is a 25 year old male with six sessions of PRP 
and uh, yeah good um, good results considering it's only six sessions so, so this is another male 56 year 56 years old with seven sessions again good results um, especially at the front uh, looks a lot thicker this is probably the best result i've come across so far so for a 51 year old ma a female with six treatments really really good improvements i mean yeah, the the bold yeah, the bold patches are completely gone in the second picture he's a male that responded really well 24 years old with three only three treatments and this is actually an amazing result i mean he's got really really good coverage very good response and this is another male that has responded quite well uh, 27 years old with only four treatments that's very very good so should you go for prp platelet rich plasma or not well there's two scenarios so the first scenario is the one i don't really recommend that you go for this as a way to solve your hair loss above hair transplants because to be honest hair transplants are proven platelet rich plasma treatment for hair loss mm, not so much i mean it probably works but it just hasn't been tested thoroughly enough second scenario is if you are offered PRP treatment um, on top of your hair transplant for example a lot of clinics say that uh, after you have your hair transplant we'll be, you know, we're going to offer you PRP as a way to speed up your healing process and maybe to maximize your results that's complete in my opinion that's completely fine because um, PRP has been used to, to improve healing for decades coming up to 40 years but in this second scenario i do recommend you go for it if you are uh, fit enough and if it's safe enough for you to do so 